Hey, what is going on guys? It's Little Bigness here, and I am here to bring you our GPC Week 1 match. We're going up against Jar, the coach of the uh, Lincoln Raptors, that's it. Uh, and he's got a really threatening team. I actually forgot to pull it up. Let me do that really quick. <laughs> uh, let's go. Sorry about this. Um, I'm just going to do this in the meantime. But yeah, he's got a lot of threats, and I am so pumped for uh, GPC Season 6 uh, to start, you know. So uh, I'm just going to verbally say it, I guess, since... Uh, if I did it in the middle of the recording, there'd be a bunch of shit on screen. So he's got Celesteela, Kieran Black, Togekiss, Mega Beedrill, Galvantula, Don Fan, Jellicent, Blaziken, and Chansey. So he's got a lot of threats. Uh, some of the biggest threats to me, honestly, are... Oddly enough, uh, Chansey is a huge threat to me because that can do well against my Lando Eye. As well as the Celesteela. He's got really good stuff for my Lando Eye, and I really don't like that. Uh, but... Then, uh, Togekiss is a threat to my Hydreigon. Then there's, uh, Kira Black, which is always a threat. Uh, Celesteela and Mega Beedrill. Those are probably the biggest threats right there. I know I, na I named about half his team, but he's got some real threats on his team. So we're gonna get right into the team right here, right now. Uh, first things first, I saw he has a huge weakness to Embor. Embor just runs through his team, and I am so happy about it. We're running the Life Orb Reckless set. Uh, I've gotten, uh, not, I've got a... Nine, uh, or a number ending in nine for my HP number, so I get the maximized uh, uh, recoil for my life orb. Uh, I don't have to worry about it doing too much. Uh, then I've got Flare Blitz, Super Power, Wild Charge, and Head Smash. This max attack jolly set. I outspeed. Um, what is it that I outspeed? I outspeed a max speed Celesteela. That's actually it. Uh, so I outspeed that before an autonomize. Uh, then, uh, I believe I outspeed, yeah, I outspeed Don Fan, Jellicent, that sort of stuff. But Flare Blitz is going to hit things super hard. I think his only real good resist to it is the Jellicent. And that can wild charge that. Super Power will hit the Chansey. And Head Smash I put there in case I need to click it for the Togekiss and just bop it. That, that's really all I thought of. I, I, I was like, what can I run to have some fun? And I thought Head Smash would be fun. So I'm going to move a bit quickly on this side. Uh, that's a male Embor. Uh, next we have Nutshack, our Fortress. And I've got Gyroball Volt Switch, Stealth Rock, and Rapid Spin with the Aka Berry. Uh, this is my best check to Karen Black, which is really horrible because, uh, yeah, Karen Black's a threat and I don't really have a good check to it. So um, I got the Fortress here. Gyroball will hit it hard enough. Uh, Volt Switch to switch out. I want to set up those rocks because rocks could be really important. If he doesn't bring Dawn Fan, that'll be really nice. His only other Defogger would be Togekiss, and that can take damage. I'd love for that to happen because that allows another one of my members to succeed. Uh, and then Rapid Spin, just in case he wants to bring some hazards and I can clear them. I think his only rockers are Chansey and Dawn Fan. And he's got Toxic Spikes on the Mega Beedrill and Webs on the Galvantula, but uh, I can get the Webs out of there. I'm actually pretty good against Webs. So I have three things that are immune to the Webs, which is really nice. Sorry I'm really in a rush here. But, uh, I need to battle Jar soon. So, next we have Slurpee, our Azelf. Uh, it's got the Expert Belt, and this thing hits things hard. I've got Psychic, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, and Knockoff. Expert Belt, just so he doesn't know my item. I didn't really want to reveal it. Plus, I'm hitting things hard already. Uh, then I've got, uh, Psychic. That can hit the Mega Beedrill and just be General Stab. Hits the Galvantula hard. Uh, Grass Knot to hit the Dawn Fan and the Jellicent. Thunderbolt to hit the Celesteela and the Jellicent if I need to, and knock off for that pesky little Chansey. This thing just coverages out really well. Thunderbolt also hits the Togekiss, which is really nice. I'm really happy with Azelf this week. Uh, then I've got Chilltown, our Hydreigon. It's got Dark Pulse, Fire Blast, Flash Cannon, and Super Power. No Dragon Stab, which is really weird, because there is a Kieran Black there, but I really don't want Dragon Stab this week. I found that coverage was more important. And I just knocked over my speaker by accident because I was trying to scratch my back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> then Dark Pulse, it's just good general stat. Hits things like Dawn Fan, uh, Mega Beedrill, Jellicent Hard. Um, now I've got Fire Blast, and things like Celesteela, Mega Beedrill. Uh, good stuff. You know, Flash Cannon can hit the Togekiss and 2 it KO it after Rocks with this investment. And Super Power with the all-out pummeling will be able to hit that Chansey really hard. And superpower in 
or all out pummeling into superpower will be able to knock out the Chansey. So that's a good thing about that Hydreigon. Next we have Relocation, our Mega Manectric, and it's got Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and HP Grass. I've got Volt Switch and Thunderbolt just to hit things hard. Uh, that way I'm able to hit the Celesteela, the Togekiss, the Jellicent. Uh, Volt Switch will help me switch out if I predict the chance of coming in. Hidden Power Grass lets me hit the Dawn Fan as well as the Jellicent in case I need to hit that. And Flamethrower gets me to hit the Karen Black neutrally, which is good enough for me. I can also hit things like the uh, Mega Beedrill with it. Uh, then, uh, oh yeah, he's also got a really slow team, so I'm able to run 347 speed and now I'm outspeeding everything. Then finally, we have a Razor Jin, our Landorus. I didn't really want to bring Landorus this week, but Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Grass Knot, and U-Turn. This thing hits so hard. Uh, I can lead off with this thing, hit U-Turn. This way I'm able to outspeed a Scarf Kieran Black, too. Uh, and I'm outspeeding basically all Scarfers because I doubt he'll bring a Scarf Galvantula. Uh, it's just that Kieran Black was too much of a threat and I needed to do that. Also, this thing can clean... Uh, hopefully with Earth Power, as long as I get that Togekiss and the Celesteela out of here. And I've got something to hit the, both those Pokemon with basically all my other Pokemon. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, so that's going to be it for the Team Builder, the Team Preview. I'm sorry I'm rushing it, but I'll see you guys when we get into the battle. Alright, and here we are. We're going into the battle right now. Sorry I don't have my layout. I'll have that next week. Uh, I kind of screwed up and thought wrong, but uh, we're going to get into the battle. Alright, uh, when it comes to what he brought, I basically predicted this, but no Togekiss, and that makes me really happy. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Sorry, I just had to link the battle really quick. Um, Galvantula's there, and that's kind of not the best. Karen Black's a threat. <laughs> um, I think I'll go ahead and lead off with Landorus. Uh, that might be a good lead. No, I think Mega Manectric actually might be. But you could lead Dawn Fan, so that's kind of the issue with that. It's either Mega Manectric or uh, Landorus. And I think I'm leaning a bit more towards Landorus, so I can U-turn out against anything. I'm not sure what he'll be... Ex er, eh. Yeah, I'll go Manectric. Okay, Jar just disconnected, so that's kind of weird. Uh, let me go talk to Jar really quick. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm going to wait this out. If I don't remember to edit, which happens quite a bit, then uh, that'll happen. Uh, if I do remember to edit, I'll try and think of a story from today. Let's think. Uh, nothing, excited happened to, nothing exciting happened today at all. Um, there's Jar. Okay. I forgot about that. My Mega Manectric. Oh shit. Alright. So I'll fix that really quick. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess uh, something I can share from today is that I did or I did get my license a couple of days ago, so that's pretty cool. Getting your first driver's license is nice. Alright, so I have to go back to Discord really quick to link the battle to these nerds. Alright. Sorry. Sorry it's taking so long. And I know I'm not going to remember to edit, I'm just bad at that stuff, so. Uh, I'm going to lead Manectric again. I think that's my best lead. 
All right, I like Galvantula. Galvantula shouldn't be able to do too much to me, so I think I'm just going to go straight up for the Flamethrower. If he wants to switch in Dawn Fan, that's fine. All right, nice. Um, that screams Flamethrower again. Honestly. I figured he might go Chansey, but I didn't really want to take that risk. Um... He shouldn't Thunder Wave, should he? I could bring an Embor pretty safely here, I think. Or I could bring in Fortress and get my rocks up. Because Don Fan's weakened, and that's his spinner, so that's pretty nice. Um. Then again, I could get off a big hit, which is nice, too. I'm going to go Embor. All right, he went for Wish. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz here. I think that's my best play. And by the way, you guys can say hi to the GPC people in the chat. Uh, Flare Blitz should be my strongest move. And it's not like Jellicent was brought, so... I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz. Yep, Don Fan's down. Nice. Okay, that's big. So Embor kills Don Fan. Karen Black comes in. I'm going straight out to nut check. He's going for sub. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna gyro ball. Um, he could go for an HP fire again. If not, he's gonna sub up. Either way, it's gonna suck. Um. Here's what I think I'm actually going to do. I'm going to go Hydreigon. I'm going to click All Out Pummeling. Which is risky, but I'm going to do it. He might play me, though. That's kind of scary. But he's got some good momentum right now. Alright. Yeah, he did play me. I can just go for the Flash Cannon at this point. I think I will, yeah. I had to. Kieran Black's too much of a threat. Um. I don't think Azelf will be able to take this thing out. That's really unfortunate, but I just have to rely on M uh, Embor for some wall breaking, so. It's not the worst thing. And I think Azelf's a good player right here. Um. Let's go for the Psychic. All right, he can go Chansey. I'm fine with that. Because I'm just going to knock this thing off. That really sucks that I lost my Hydreigon like that, though. I thought he just might go for another HP fire, but I thought wrong, so... I could have stayed in and Gyro Ball, but I figured having Rocks up would be nice, so... If you like. Alright, uh. I'm gonna go Fortress here. I can choose to get up my rocks. Or go down. Because that just happened. Uh. Yeah, I just have to go for the rocks. Oh, wow, he let me get my rocks up. That's surprising. I could spin. Or I could gyro ball. I think I'm just gonna spin though. Alright, Fortress goes down. Um this is a free flare blitz for me. I believe flare blitz should actually knock out this Chansey. If this is I ran into a wall and there's no item. Flare blitz is ninety to one oh six percent. So I should probably go for the superpower, actually. Because I'll be able to take down Celesteela anyway. That's not an issue. So yeah, I'll just go for the superpower. Take Chansey out. Embor's going in in this match. 
he didn't really prep well for Embor at all. Um, I think I want to sack my Azelf here. Actually, no, that's not the best play. It might be sacking Manectric. No, no, keeping Manectric around is good because that thing can hit Celesteela harder. So he's going to go for the sub. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Psychic. And the Ice Beam does not knock me out, actually. Okay, nice. So I'll go for the Psychic again. Alright, Beedrill. It's a threat. So I have to go for the Psychic. Yeah, okay. I might lose this one, honestly. Um, I'm just going to go Razor Jin. And I think I have to click U-Turn. He says B drill. It should switch out. Realistically. Yep, yeah, okay. So then this means I can go into Embor and fire off a big hit, I believe. Yeah, that's my play. So I have to go to Embor. Click Flare Blitz. Goes for a Protect. What a wuss. <laughs> this should knock out the Celesteela. This is a reckless Embor. Yeah, it knocks it out no matter what. Unless it's got Akka, but he already showed leftovers, so. It's going down. I think he knows he has to keep the Celesteela around. Oh, he didn't. Okay. So, Lando I is in a very good position right now. To clean up. Alright, yeah, go ahead and do that. And I'm not sure what I want to do here, actually. I think I might want to U-turn with the Lando Eye, but... Uh, let me check my lander set and see... Uh, Mega... or Beedrill. Mega... Alright. I should be able to take this thing out. Unless it's like max spadef. Which I highly doubt. So yeah, there we go. And Galvantula... Is also Scarfed. Wow. Okay. So I don't think this should knock out. Yep, yeah, okay. There we go. Winning 1-0. I love it. Awesome. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. That was really close. I honestly thought I was going to lose. Uh, that Karen Black really threw me for a loop. I'm really happy with how I did. Uh, just being able to win it, get back into the battles. Uh, I've heard that the GPC has some really good competitors, so I'm really stepping my game up and making sure I'm doing well. And it, I just went out and beat Jar, and I've heard good things about Jar as a battler. He's got a really threatening team, too. Like, I was really threatened by this team, so I'm really happy I won it. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.